Imagine a world where, when anyone has a question, a need, a worry, or a concern about that product or service you sell, they come to you. Imagine a world where, by the time a potential customer comes to you and talks to someone on your sales team, they feel like they already know you. Imagine a world where, instead of constantly prospecting and reaching out to potential customers, spending massive amounts of time on paid advertising, or experimenting with that latest marketing campaign. Instead, your customers are constantly coming to you. Down at the uh, International Roofing Exposition, it's an IRE show. Guy walked up to him in the booth, said, hey, I know who your company is. Um, Doug says, you know, do, do you wanna have a demo or anything? He goes, no, he says, I, I went online. I says, I checked you out. I said, read your blogs, looked all at your blogs, looked all your videos. He goes, I know what your machine does. I know what I need. He goes, I'll probably be back tomorrow and buy a piece of equipment. Is such a world possible? Yes, you better believe it is. In fact, it's a proven digital sales and marketing system that has worked for thousands of businesses around the world just like yours. And it's called They Ask, You Answer. It was amazing. It changed everything. It changed how I thought about marketing. They Ask You Answer has been our roadmap. You know, it's been our Bible in terms of the structure and the strategy that we follow. Found the book, really kind of step by step through the book. And we've been able to trip our business since really implementing in about 2016. In 2009, my swimming pool company was on the brink of bankruptcy. But that's when we applied They Ask You Answer and we became one of the largest pool builders in the United States. But it didn't stop there. We believe that trust is the most important currency for any business. You all know him as the folksy Marcus. I got, I got a different Marcus Sheridan. He goes, we're not here to talk about what you do right. We're here to talk about the many things you do wrong and whether you want to fix them. Can you handle that? And, and I, I think that's like one of the pivotal moments in my career because half me wanted to actually strangle him. And the other half said, well, he's right. You, you know, you couldn't argue with the numbers. Now, instead of one story, you're talking about, you know, a third store going online and revenues of 117 million with better margins because people trust you. They ask, your answer means you are literally obsessed with the way your buyer thinks. What they ask, what they feel, what they search, and you feel like, if they're asking it, thinking it, searching it, that it's your moral obligation to address it on the front end during that 70%, because you know if you don't address it, who will? Your competitors, and you refuse to allow that to happen. But it doesn't stop there. They ask you answer is a mindset where you say, you know what? They wanna learn it this way, so we're gonna evolve the way that we teach it the way that we show it. They ask you answer is a mindset of, they wanna buy it this way. Is it possible that we sell it that way even though we haven't always sold it that way before? That is the essence of they ask, you answer. Before we adopted they ask, you answer, we were doing traditional advertising and marketing and throwing all kinds of messages at them that were essentially annoying them. And now we're providing them with good, helpful, useful content and they actually take the time to thank us for providing them with that. That you see so many organizations making. Marketing produces the content. The sales team, they don't help produce it. They don't know that it exists. And they certainly don't integrate it into the sales process. This is a two-way street. Marketers are responsible for engaging the sales team and pushing through what is their resistance. At the same time, the opposite has to occur as well. Sales team must break through, and it all happens through education. When the idea was first presented to us, I was definitely hesitant. You know, I'd done our sales process one way my whole career, and it seemed to be working. And so, why change what isn't broke? You know, I think over time, we've definitely been proved wrong. In the 18 months that we've 
started the ask you answer. Uh, our sales revenues are up almost $20 million. Yes, it, you're gonna invest a lot in it up front, but if your people are into it, your sales staff's into it, you have a marketing team that can really drive it, those are the people that are gonna make it take off. There's basically five things buyers are obsessed with that we all wanna understand and we all wanna know, yet oftentimes we can't get any information on but we wanna know these things before we talk to that salesperson, before we fill out that form, before we engage with that company. You, me, we, everybody in this room, and here are the big five, and it literally runs our economy right now. As buyers, we wanna know how much is it? What are the negatives with it, the problems with it? How does it compare to that other thing we're looking at? What's everybody saying about it? And what is the best it? That is the big five. I started the big five right away when I was working with Kevin. And one of our top performing content, I mean, across the board from video to articles are our cost articles. Because we found really quickly that when it comes to commercial roofing, a lot of people didn't want to put those numbers out there. I mean, it's grown exponentially. Like the graphs on HubSpot, like I walk by and I can see our sales support guys looking at it and it's just like, goes straight up. <laughs> Give it to them, teach them, because if you don't teach them, who will? Your competitors, and that's who they'll learn it from. We always have a choice. They can learn it from you, or they can learn it from your competitor. It is my hope that you will be that voice. We all need to take this vision out to the marketplace, out to our teams, out to the industry, and if we do this, we, literally, I don't say this, it's not cliche, I mean it, we are going to change business as we know it.